teaching English as a second language. I'm looking at this as a business perspective, in a business perspective, because although I like teaching, it's more to do with their personal interest than the money, although the money would actually help stabilise Spain quite easily. Um, but what I'm looking for is people already doing it or looking to do it, because I was thinking, if we work together, because a lot of the time there's other people involved, schools or whatever, um, where we could actually be doing it ourselves. And the big problem with getting that message across is the network. And the best network is actually working as a collaboration. So having like YouTube channels and Facebook uh, pages and uh, web pages, they're all integrated. So we cross, cross over with each other. For example, maybe you like teaching young learners where most of my students seem to be uh, business uh, I've got two people in marketing and one that's a uh, director of accounts. Um, but the the point being that interlinking with the different channels and different networks, instead of having agents bringing the work to us, we could actually be generating our own work within our own network. And also with putting some of these channels together, if you have six to ten people doing it, it gets a lot of traffic because they're all interwoven and because there's different topics. For example, I can't talk about celebrities because I don't know nothing about them. I've got no interest in them. But I could tell you about engineering. I could tell you about processing documentation. I could go through some accounting software even and terminology relating to accounting and facilities management, property management, all that sort of stuff. But I couldn't tell you about celebrity. Somebody else could, though. But at the same time, because all the topics are interwoven, we get this crossover between the different students and general people taking an interest. But if you do it on your own, it's such a narrow, narrow window because a lot of people that would approach me would actually have to already understand what I'm doing, uh, know me from somewhere else, um, because building up that connection to get a full, uh, full-time full bookings for students, it's not going to happen overnight. Um, I mean, if you look at this YouTube channel now, we're talking nearly 4,000 subscribers. That's took nearly two years. But if you imagine if we had six to ten YouTube channels with relevant topics and all covering similar things but also in a lesson say you're discussing football in one of your YouTube videos and I'm doing a lesson and find out well I do I actually have a student's interest in Manchester United I could tie in and say right go and watch John's video on football you'll find it useful and at the same time, you may say, Matt's done a video on gerunds, because if you can't understand what the gerunds are, or what we call verbing, um, you could then go and say, go and have a look at Matt's video on that. It also cuts down the amount of material that we have to generate um, that is repetitive, because we can have different things, different scenarios, and also it means that we just swap them around. Um, so we can have an expansive library of information. Let me know what you think. If you are interested, get in touch. If you're not, okay. <laughs> but I just thought it'd be a good idea to put forward because um, I'm pretty serious about teaching English. But I've got fascinated with the teaching English as a the TESOL structure uh, because I can see how I can integrate that for learning Spanish. Not a, <laughs> starting with myself, but... <laughs> <laughs> but I can see how it can be used in other languages. And this is something that I'm fascinated with because, A, I could learn to teach other languages, but B, I can learn other languages by having other people that have already gone through this. Because I find it some the structure of TESOL teaches quite rapidly um, because it's conversational, it's, it's driven in a social way that um, I think it might even be a new career move. <laughs> um, it was just, I mean, initially I looked at it as just a helping us out in Spain and maybe something I can do in the Philippines, but I can see a lot of opportunity here. But if you get in touch, we can discuss that in more detail. Thanks for watching.